pastoral archaeologist because I found out it's part of the responsibility of the apostolic ministry. You have to know what God did before. It's not a name and it's not a title. It's a burden and a responsibility. You must be able to educate a generation and say, this is how we know God to be. But now let's watch. Even me, I'm not sure, but at least I can guide you. Because his move is coming. In 2005, I had a vision, Pastor. In that vision, I started seeing the move of God that was going to come to China. I was in a vision of the Lord and then I saw young Chinese children. Listen very carefully. I saw young Chinese children and it was like fire just came on one. And then the fire moved to one. Then it moved to one. Then it moved to one. And then it became an inferno that could not be quenched. And the spirit of the Lord told me he was taking the move of God to China. Then the spirit of the Lord began to teach me about the move of God that was in Europe. Please listen very carefully. Europe is really supposed to be the center of Christianity. There is a spiritual heritage that is domiciled within that land that was corrupted by secularism. Till today you go to Europe, you will see it. You are a Christian, it's as if you are holding typewriter. Are we together now? The system was designed to make you feel foolish for knowing and loving God. And God has a way he preserves a move. When he finds out that that move is shrinking, he will transport that move to a region and hide it for safety. Watch this. The move of God is like Olympic fire. It must not die. Are we together now? So when he finds out that there are careless people who are left around that move, he will find a way of shifting that move to a zone of safety. Awaiting a time when he will find a ready people. Please understand what I'm telling you. These are deep discussions on revival. We're only joking if we don't know these truths. Hmm. Hallelujah. Then the move of God went to America, pastor. And the way it was very powerful because it was an environment that was conducive for God. The founding fathers already made the environment. That means that the founding fathers territorially allowed the purposes of God to be established. Are we together now? Territorially, they represented the people there and they said, Maranatha, God, we allow you to come. So the spirit of God on legal grounds could come and establish a lot of things. Then came all these moves. Now, let me tell you where the problem was. The move of God that happened in the 40s the 50s and even the early 60s it was corrupted because those who carried that fire did not have a system of balance so satan invented a formula that he used when moses was negotiating the exodus of egypt leave your wives and your children behind so the evangelists were in the field preaching and they never had the time to raise another generation and satan saw that I can't, this man already loves God. Backsliding is not, it won't happen. So he said, I leave you. I will come and grow with your child. John G. Lake, who was an evangelist in Spokane. And then he was also in South Africa for many years. When John G. Lake's wife was about to die, he was in the field and his daughter made a comment, sir. He said, if daddy were here, mommy would not die. The idea they had about kingdom advance was the fact that even if my family dies, let it die. I want to show you the sacrifice that brought us to where we are today. They are not bad people. They were limited by the light that was available then. Praise the Lord. They asked Billy Graham's wife. They said... The way this man would not be with you. Sometimes he could be with his wife seven times in a year. How many times? Ladies, attention. Seven times in a year. Mark that man. Score him over 100. So they asked her, how did you endure? Listen, how did you survive? She said there were times she felt like dying. But she would not divorce him. That was a price. Now watch this. 
when, when all these things started happening, Satan knew that these fathers, he knew that there was one thing common to men, time. The limitation of time. One day these guys will die and they will join the cloud of witnesses. So he said, instead of us trying to convince them to backslide, that's too much energy. Let's go back to their children and grow with them. And they began to manipulate a philosophy and an ideology, a value system that made it unattractive to be a serious Christian. Those children of yesterday are those who sit in government today. You transform a generation by growing with them. Not interrupting them when they are growing. Listen, as anointed as God has helped me to be, if I go to redemption camp right now and I meet all our fathers and our mothers, even if I remove a head and put it back, they will be impressed and say, wow, you are very anointed. I'm on my way to go and listen to Papa Deboe, please. I will talk to you later on. I said, come, I have a Greek and he says, do you know why? Because Papa Ia Deboye was the face of God that grew with that generation. And David served his generation. It's not enough to serve God. You must serve God within the context of a generation. You must know the age range your grace was allocated to. Otherwise, you are in for a big shock. Any man of God who cannot define the age range of your impact, you have lost a generation already. And you must pay the laborious price of growing with that generation. You will not show up when they are on the throne and say, I, I'm a man of God. You have no place in their life. Your impact must be enshrined as you grow with them. So I tell you the mistake most of us are making right now. Let's just correct it. You are ashamed of being a minister over young people because they are financially incapable. And you want to gather people who are 60 years plus, who will be dying in the next 10 to 20 years. While the generation is searching for the face. I told you God uses men to personify moves. What is your face representing to a generation? Today in the generation of our fathers, when you talk of deliverance and the rest, the face of Dr. Olukoya, when you talk about all of these men, they must have replacements because they will not be there forever. And right now, the formation of the next move has started. But ignorant and hungry people are ignoring the next move to try to manage the last move. Please sit down. When we started those days, people looked at us and said, oh, all these guys are just young boys with fellowship. You see, that's the problem. The fellowship people are now the CEOs you are talking about, sir. And let me tell you something with a generation. A generation, men and Africans are loyal to the face that raised them. They will never fall. If you were not there when they were suffering and drinking Gary, don't you think you will show up one day and just say, I'm starting a ministry. They look at you and say, where is the history? Impact is historical. Where is, bring the archive. Show me where you played a role in helping this generation transit. It's a gift to be planted in the future now. But only those with the eyes of the spirit will need to see. Hmm. I love my parents. They listen to my messages. I'm very sure they just listen for the purpose of loyalty and solidarity to a spiritual son. I mean, how many mysteries am I going to teach my father now? Where is he going to start from? Mystery of what? Is it, is it to a dance? Where, where, I mean, what, what is it going to start from? The dance that will later cause him to collapse and bring more trouble for me. Is it not better that he just stays the way he is? Let me keep taking care of him as he counts his days with honor. Now, let me teach you something. Look up, please. Look up. I'm saying many things tonight, but I'm, I'll soon start showing us the precept. But I want to show you something. Listen. Do you know that a man who answers the call of God at age 50 or 60 God is going to route a system of jumping many things in his training and remedy them 
So when that man is teaching and mentoring younger people, he will ignore certain things. It was ignored in his life as an advantage to help his age. But a young man should not jump what he's jumping. You can't teach a man of 75 years avoid fornication. His age has already helped him avoid fornication. Are we together now? Or thou shalt not steal. I mean, where is the energy when it takes him a long time to even hold the mic and start talking? It takes energy to do all these things. And now that guy does not have that strength again. But when a young gentleman watches that man and also decides to jump like that, then he's going to have a very serious problem. It is true that a revival is coming. One more vision and then we'll teach. The Lord opened my eyes a few years ago and the Lord began to show me the move of God that would come in Nigeria and in Africa. And then because the move of God will always assume the formation of king, priest and prophet. It's an order and an ordinance. They are the threefold cord that cannot be easily broken. There must be within a territory a king, a priest, a prophet. And this time around, the king, priest, prophet formation is not individuals, but territories. Please follow me. And in allocating these graces, this is how the graces went. The prophetic grace went to Ghana. Listen. Listen carefully. The king dimension huh, went to Nigeria. The priest dimension went to South Africa. Watch this. These three regions, by the counsel of God, he hid this dimension like an Olympic fire in them. Now watch this. When Satan knew and saw this, he started bringing a lot of corruption. Now please, if those following from any nation, I love you, I love Africa, I love the whole world. I'm a child of God. Are we together? So I don't teach to communicate any bias. Ghana started corrupting the prophetic with religion and divination. That's why an average Ghanaian, he, he don't, he's, this guy is a thief and yet he's seen. Are we together now? Yes. He can look at you and say, I'm not born again, oh, but be careful. I'm hearing a sound like a car is hitting you. And you will think it's a joke until you see a tricycle that almost wants to capsize you and you remember and say, who is that guy? He's not a prophet. He's not even aware. It's a heritage that is territorial. Like mineral resources planted in a region. There are spiritual resources too. When you are domiciled within that region, you can tap into that advantage. I will soon show you the one God put in this country. Because there are. Are we together now? So there was a corruption. South Africa, because of what happened with Mandela and the over-liberalization, you see, priesthood requires discipline. Are we together now? The emblem, the signature of a priest is the discipline of compliance to the terms of priesthood. So the liberalization of everything brought them to a point of laziness, respectfully speaking, both spiritual and physical. You still see it today. I was in, in South Africa and I was rushing to go and enter a mall and a car was coming. And in Nigeria, cars don't stop for you. I stopped for the car and the man was honing me and said, pass. And then I stood and he refused to move. And then he said, pass. I, I moved and I said, wow. <laughs> Nigeria, my fatherland. <laughs> oh no. There's, there's no time for that kind of thing. Now watch this. The danger there is that when people begin to go down in their prayer life, everything eventually reflects their prayer life by going down too. Are we together now? And then corruption, sangomas began to arise. Right? With all kinds of replacements. And then the spirit of the Lord. Now I'm sharing these things as experiences. Are we together? 
I'm not making doctrines out of them, but these are experiences that I'm sharing with you. And I believe that the Spirit of God will bear witness with your spirit. One thing happened, sir. Watch this. It happened just at the time Boko Haram was about to start. That's why I tell you to listen. What I'm teaching is prophetic. Because of the corruption that was happening in this move. Remember that Africa is God's firstborn. Every continent, major continent, in the similitude of the sons of Noah, has been given an opportunity to host God. And Africa is that rejected stone that must be given a chance. And unfortunately, prophecies upon Africa as that continent that will lift up the banner of righteousness. Africa is the rejected stone that will host Christ. Are we together? And in Africa, by the privilege of God's grace, Nigeria is that firstborn. Listen carefully. What we are sharing tonight is very prophetic. And I want you to listen. Because of this corruption, sir, the Spirit of God decided to capture both the king, priest, prophet, bring all of them to Nigeria and hide them. I can tell you with all authority, standing in the office of an apostle, that these graces are hiding in this country. Now watch this. But those who carry these graces are not yet on TV. You don't know them. They don't even know they are the ones carrying it. It was disguised as to not corrupt their training. Please watch this. Because God stores his possibilities in men. You will soon know that some of those men are the ones looking at me now. Please listen very carefully. When that happened, God divided Nigeria prophetically into two. Are we together now? Mission fields and training camps divided Nigeria. The south the east became mission fields and the north became training camps. Are we together now? Why? Because the hostility of darkness was a system of advantage that will not allow you to veer off too much. One bomb is bombing there and it will bring you back. So it's easy. The apparatus to train you spiritually is already there. Is the reason why when God wants to really use you, he will find a way of helping your feet to touch the north and you return back. Even if it's a, a weak visit, it's not, it's not about the north. It's about a heritage. You just thought you came for a meeting. It's more than that. Where did Bishop Oyedepo start? Where did many of these... Is, is, sit down, sit down. now watch this watch this it was because of this thing that manifestations like Boko Haram started it's more than a political thing because every time saviors are about to come out of Zion the mount of Esau already has giants there Are we together now? Yes, so God is hiding these graces and these mantles in men. And God concealed the awareness of it from them so that it will not corrupt the pace of their training. So you quietly went to bed one night and started seeing crusades watch this now you started seeing the sick get healed and you just got up and said ah, like mary what manner of vision is this and you kept it to yourself are we together now yes. and you applied and applied and applied for nyc in lagos your uncle assured you he said no, don't worry Lo and behold, when your NYC came out, they sent you to Sokoto. And you went to God and said, Lord, what is this? And he didn't answer you. That your feet will touch and receive something. Because there are five elements 
by which the supernatural is communicated. Five elements. Number one is fire. Number two is water. Number three is the earth. Number four is wind. Are we together now? And number five is light. Every manifestation of the supernatural must subscribe to these elements to find expression in our world. Now let me tell you something that will bless you. Looks like a little digression, but do you know that the same way there are mineral resources, sir, there are spiritual resources in this Nigeria too. I will tell you, there is an allocation of grace and possibilities. To the Yoruba nation, there are two great mantles that was given to the Yoruba. The grace for enlightenment, light, light, which reflects as intellectual prowess and the prophetic. The Yoruba nation is a heritage. You don't have to be born again. It's a heritage. So the average Yoruba person is extremely intelligent. You may not even know where this came from. And the average Yoruba person will easily step into the prophetic. You look at our fathers, the apostolic church, CAC, all of these men. Are we together now? Almost every Yoruba man of God with 50 years and above has a prophetic inclination. They may not call names, but they create possibilities. It's a heritage. The East connecting to the South-South. Are we together now? That grace, the spirit of Bezalel, the creativity of God and favor, these two graces were given to them. It's a heritage. An evil man can go to Iraq and head a company. It's not because he likes money. There is a grace. The North was given the seat of governance. It's a grace. That's why our people study these things. That's why they believe it is their right to rule forever. They are not talking out of nonsense. There are spiritual archives and divination shows there is proof. The average Muslim, talk with him. He's not thinking business. He's thinking governance, politics, history. They don't even know what moves them to have that interest. If God wants to announce you in Nigeria, your feet must touch Lagos. If your feet does not touch Abel Kuta and Lagos, you will never go global from Nigeria. It's a mystery. So no matter where you are, when your season of appearance comes, God will orchestrate an event that must cause your feet to touch this place. Go and find out your secular musicians. Go and find out all these people. Trace their lifting. Because Abel Kuta is the mother of Lagos. Lagos is a child that was born by a woman called Abel Kuta. It's a spiritual heritage. Now, I, I, I want to be sincere with you. There's no sentiments. I don't know where you come from. I've not mentioned where I come from too in all these things. So we're together. But I'm telling the truth is still the truth. So you can see why it was easy for me to step into an apostolic office. Much more than a call, there was a territorial advantage that already inclined you to governance. It takes the eyes of the spirit to see these things. Revelation is not something you look for. You are initiated into it like occult. It's a body of truth. You are called to be a partaker, a fellowship with a mystery. And if it does not come to you, you cannot see it. The Looking for revelation is a waste. You only align yourself for the spirit of God to bring that truth to you. This is where we are in prophecy. The move of God is starting in a very strange way. And let me tell you, the character of that move is that it will no longer be a move that is just mainstream evangelism. Like walking on the street 
and just handing someone a placard and saying, what is your name? No, no, no. It will not happen that way. That's why if you, de if you depend just on cyclical advice, you are going to miss something serious. The character of that move will, God will use every arsenal, creativity, dominion, everything will play a role. Other moves did not stress these things. They emphasized things like prayer. They emphasized things like the study of the word and all of those things. But the character of this move is not just something that will be spiritual in context. The move is spiritual but it will have a body reflected in science, reflected in lifting, reflected in financial prosperity, reflected in governance. Our assignment tonight as a people in prophecy is to know how to host and preserve. If I can do this within the few minutes I have, I will just touch one or two. Our time is already gone. I didn't even realize the time has gone. One or two and then we'll continue tomorrow. Are we together? Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10. The Bible says that we have been made unto our God. Kings and priests. Now please look up. I feel so embarrassed but you won't believe it's now my meet. My, it's truly it's now I'm looking at my notes to start the sermon. But yes. In, in all fairness. See how this thing works sometimes. Praise the Lord. No problem. Oh, 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 wherever we are. Now, there are many, there are many systems of identifying believers in the Bible. 